right again because of dysfunctional hips and core and sitting posture our rib cages are usually compressed downwards which just tightens up these top abs while shutting off the rest of our deep core system now whenever i have one muscle dominating the entire system i need to change that to bring more balance into my body in general so what i need to do is myofascial release the muscles that are super tight and then with the posture chores and the rest of the exercises i'm trying to bring the other muscles online so for this upper ab release i am basically trying to get under this rib cage and hit these two top ab muscles right here starting from close to the midline i want to stay away from this direct midline that's your linear elbows stay away from that connective tissue it's not good to stretch or myofascial release that tissue right to the side of that midline on both lines you're going to find a lot of super tight fascia that is disrupting the function of the rib cage and of your diaphragm and basically we want to release a bunch of points along this line from side to side again not the midline so that we can restore good function to our ribs to our core and to the rest of our body while i'm laying on this spot it would help if i slowly find more thoracic extension in my upper back because you see as i do that i'm going to just lengthen this muscle to make the myofascial release easily accessible now again just like everything else while i'm doing this smr everything has to be super slow and subtle almost as if if somebody was watching you they would not be able to notice the movement in two to five minutes use your breath to calm down the nervous system and accept this adaptation and then you're going to want to drink a lot of water